Okay, it's September 30th, 2008. There we are. Dow plunges 778. Let's call it 777. I like that number. Um, biggest point drop in the history of uh, Dow, Dow Jones Industrial Average. I know some of you have been waiting for this. I had to buy the Wall Street Journal. It's one of those historic days. Um, boom. IDD Investors Business Daily. Rescue rejected stocks dive. Um, okay, it's essential. Obviously, to do an update. Um, one thing that comes to mind first of all is people that say to buy now, but they don't say it with much conviction, and they're wrong, of course, because um, this planned collapse continues full speed ahead. Actually, I don't think Congress is going to come to a bailout plan tomorrow. CNBC today because it's fun to watch, interesting to watch TV. You know, everybody's all excited about the 500 point rise in the Dow Industrial, Dow Industrial Average. Oops, time for some water. Had a good workout with Chip and Luke. Water. Uh, but here's my take on that. a lot of things right now. And uh, of course, we need more updates. Um, yeah, it was interesting to watch Monday, wasn't it? I'm glad I uh, had the day off. And uh, actually, I didn't have the day off, but I still had, had some fun people to talk to. We were watching it collapse, you know, right around 590 at the close. And then uh, was with some friends. I said, well, see what happens because there's going to be some sell-on closes. You know, a lot of action. And it was interesting to watch the Dow drop another 100 and what, 170 points um, after the close. Um, what comes to mind is Ozzy Osbourne's song, War Pigs. I like to list that when I lift. It gets me going. And in War Pigs, there's part of it says, evil minds that plot destruction. Evil minds that plot destruction. Well, um, Congress isn't going to solve this, and abandoning the Constitution is not going to solve this. They're, so they're making out this to be a war between Main Street and Wall Street. Um, it's horrible that people that have should have independent lives in all the different cities here in the United States depend on this uh, BS that's happening on Wall Street. And these loans that were made, I don't blame the people that took the loans, you know. There's no doc loans. It's not their fault. It's, you know, the Wall Street masters of the universe and big institutions buying these loans and thinking that they were good assets. You know, common sense would show you that they weren't good assets, and now it's all coming home to roost. So I'm I'm glad Congress rejected the bill. Um, that was a good job. They they don't know what's going on. A lot of people don't know what's going on, and the financial wizard wizards think they know what is going on. But once again, it's the fundamental principle that we have banned here in the United States. And I I want to thank all the viewers because I'm getting you know, I posted it in um, activism and something like that, non-profit, something like that. But people in Korea, uh, Germany, all over the world are watching it, my videos. And thanks, thanks a lot. Uh, unfortunately, it is going to lead to a worldwide collapse. It's just not the United States. It'll be a worldwide collapse. Um, I don't think that it'll happen tomorrow, and I think that'll be on purpose. I don't think the power, there's powers behind the scenes. As you, as you people that have watched my videos know, there's powers behind the scenes. And, uh, we're going to continue downwards, and this is the final collapse of Western civilization. But for all of you out there, I actually am I'm having some of the best times of my life right now. I'm working out, working out with new friends, and working on uh, building myself up. I continue to try to do that intellectually, uh, spiritually, physically, and uh, you know, be successful. So a lot of us were looking, I mean, I've got a lot of emails, and I thank all of you for those emails. A lot of comments. What's going on is going to be the most devastating financial and other consequences in the history of the United States, actually in the history of the world. So the U.S. is not going to come out of this. But on the other side of this, there's going to be fantastic times. That's what That's what's motivating and exciting. It's not like doom and gloom and horror for an indefinite future. It's going to be doom and gloom and horror beyond belief, beyond what people expect. It's going to be horrible. Um, 
my first DVD, I think I'm going to make another pitch for it, show people how to buy it, because I have George Washington's vision on there and other things that are extremely prophetic. But things are going to be fantastic in the future after this cleansing happens. And believe me, it is going to happen. This is a planned financial crisis, and um, there's other things that are planned, like liquidation of quite a few people that live on this globe, because, as Osby, uh, as Ozzy Osbourne predicted, uh, and it was a prescient prediction. Um, there are evil minds of plot destruction, and uh, they will succeed for a while. But on the other side of that, there's going to be good minds that do the opposite of destruction. They want to create. They want to build. They want to live. And so there'll be societies and communities that won't depend on the dollar. They won't depend on gold and silver. The sun will still rise. People will grow food. It'll be actually fantastic. And I continue to connect with those people. You know who you are. I can meet people here in Utah, meet people all over the world, and it's amazing. You would be amazed at the, the people that, that email and contact me. Um, just got, just got, you know, got a message from a, a CEO of a Fortune 100 company, former CEO of a Fortune 100 company. Other people are, uh, you know, military people, just all kinds of people. But, but it comes down to the people that believe and support true principles. And for all of you, there's fantastic things on the other side. Because we're going to reestablish a true and wonderful society here in the United States and, and worldwide. But not yet. Right, right now we're going to witness the collapse of this absolutely corrupt system. And it is kind of interesting to watch it on TV. Check out the internet, things like that. But it's not coming back. Um, the retirement is a myth. The retirement accounts will be wiped out. As I said, people are, are incredulous, but more than more than uh, more than ninety percent of banks will fail. More than ninety-five percent of banks will fail. In fact, pretty much all banks will fail. And the people are ready for the truth on that. I'll get to that more, but that'll be a few more months if we're still streaming the internet. That's why I'm gonna re-release my DVD because it's just something. It's it's priceless to have. I mean, it's just the information on it, and it's basically gathering truth from, from the ages and bringing it into context of what's happening now in the U.S. financial markets. So, September 30th, um, people are <laughs> people on CNBC were excited because they you know, think that maybe, hey, the bailout's going to help out and stuff like that, but uh, um, it's not. You know, bailing out people that have... It, it's just corrupt. It's absolutely corrupt. And... Uh, so my prediction right now, and I know it's very contrarian, and I'll say it right here before tomorrow, I do not think Congress will reach um, a bailout resolution tomorrow night. I don't think they will. And since that is my prediction, then um, the markets, so, thir so let's see, yeah, that's, that's Wednesday. So Thursday, Thursday, Friday, we could see some really, really, uh, worse crash than right now and somebody in fact I just got a message from somebody and uh, Rhonda out there and she was saying hey I think there could be a thousand point drop yeah Rhonda I think that's that could very well be so um, it's kind of late had a great workout got a lot of good stuff good uh, things done today but my prediction is that the evil minds of plot destruction don't want this resolved because they want to move, obviously, to um, to a one-world currency, and it'll be cashless. And the play, the investment play, if it can be cashed in, which I think it will, of of our lifetimes, will be shorting the U.S. long bond or the thirty-year thirty-year bond. And I'll explain why that's the case. People, and anybody that's gone to business school or taken economics one hundred and one or advanced economics classes, you're taught here in the United States. And this is on the DVD. Once again, that I'm going to re-release, and I'll tell people how to get that in a future video. We have a little more time is um, it's supposed to be the riskless rate US government securities are supposed to be the be the riskless rate but they are not the riskless rate the time will come when people they will be worthless and so that long bond we'll see that the interest rate on the long bond surge past 10 percent surge past 20 percent 50 percent and then they will be worthless and if we could cash them in and short the long bond which which I will do um, you know, when I can gather resources to do it and, and talk to my maybe future clients, if there's some people out there that uh, want to know the truth and don't want to live off the BS, um, I, will, I know how to do that as far as the instruments to do that. 
but uh, you will watch U.S. government treasuries also collapse. Let's watch what happens uh, next few days. I don't think Congress will agree Thursday night. And uh, I'll probably have to post an update this, this weekend. God bless all. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for the truth from, and I humbly submit that, submit that I endeavor to be a man of truth. Thank you very much. Ciao.